Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the calculations for the linear light blend mode. And if you're not into the maths or not curious about it, that's okay, just skip onwards. And that just leaves the two of us. So, um, the contrast blend group, linear light is the fifth member, and it makes use of linear burn and linear dodge, also called ast add, which is a clue as to how it's calculated. Just for a moment, let's look at linear, sorry, vivid light, which is the previous uh, blend mode we looked at, and because this sets the scene. Now that says, feature red, green, and blue. If the blend, in other words, the pixel for each of the red, green, and blue on each pixel of the blend layer, if it's darker, in other words, it's be lower than 0.5 because it goes from 0, which is black, to 1, which is white, and then the we use a colour burn calculation which looks like this. However, the actual colour burn is calculation like this. So the 2x here, what does this do? Well, if you increase the denominator here, effectively makes this bigger, which makes the whole thing smaller, which it kind of makes it squeeze into the space for it, because you need to get colour dodge and colour burn effectively into one graph. And uh, the alternative then is if it's not less than or equal to 0.5, then it must be greater than it. In other words, it's lighter. So we use the colour dodge, which is like this. And the same thing here, we've got the 2x down here of the blend. Right, so with that, we'll say, well, what do we think linear light? Well, linear burn is like this. It's base plus blend minus one. And so what we do is for the darker one here, We'll use this and we say two times the blend minus one. It's an odd kind of formulation and uh, it's because what is happening here, this is the actual one. You've got the one minus base plus the one minus blend and then doing a one minus again. So this is one of those, you do a one minus and then do another one minus to sort of reverse it because you're doing it, do it in inverses. And uh, this is based in, in the same way that this is base plus blend for, blend for linear dodge. So linear burn, you've got in, it's like an inverse added and then re-inversed. And the way to think of it, it's something like this. So if this is base and this is blend, this is just say the reds in one pixel, then linear dodge, you add up this to this. And it's, yes, it can go over the top, in which case it just clamps down to, to one. So what you're doing here with the linear burn is the one minus is this this black area. So you add the black area to this black area here, these two, and then take one away from it there, which means you're going to look end up with something that for the linear dodge, you would think, say, well, we just we had the two times the blend there. Why not the two times the blend here? However, the problem that happens with this the blend is greater than 0 0.5. So two times it, it means it's going to be one, which is maximum. So add any, anything to maximum, it's still going to be the maximum. So it's all going to be one. So we need to do something about this. And this is the problem that caused me somewhat confusion. So what I do is like, well, let's roll backwards to here and say what we do is when the blend is lighter greater than 0 0.5 we actually take half off it so imagine it's going up from naught up to one here so it's up here and we take away half and it just drops it down to the lower half and that's what that is doing however if you multiply out this what you're going to get the two times blend minus two times a half so you're going to get base plus two times blend minus one which is the same you got up here so in other words, that's all it is. Linear light is calculated like this, and we just showed why. So, in blend gradients, and say this is just for, you know, for, say for each red, green, and blue. So you're going from naught to zero here. We'll do it horizontally first. So the blend layer and the base layer, one on top of the other, is going to be naught to one. So linear dodge then looks like this. So this is the lightning, so the top half is 
just burned right out because you added them together and the bottom half looks like this and the linear burn kind of is the opposite which means when you bring them together you get this kind of this is a gr gradient in the middle so in other words it compresses the contrast gradient and you get layers areas of fully dark and fully light and remember this happens with each of red green and blue so you get those combined together so you can get a quite a strong thing you can easily get burnout within that within individual colors um, just as a reminder here then let's go with this this is for vivid light what happens is you take this now in the the blend layers going from 0 to 1 this way and places 0 to 1 that way when you combine them you get the color dodge calculates like this color burn like this and you notice along the t that layer here and that layer here the, the, those lines they're the same so i can pull this one straight down onto this and so what i get effectively is imagine this pulled under this then squeeze downwards which is what that two times thing is doing and that's what we get for the vivid light so do the same thing with the linear dodge so you've got base going this way blend this way and then you burn that way and you've got a very similar thing going on which is like this and this is surprisingly being that it is very similar to the vivid light because the calculations turn out to be really different but you get a very similar effect anyway that's it and I hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching.